Hey, what's up, everyone? Pase Bodo here. We are now for uh, today, January 7, 2023, NBA Game Day. We got like five games. Is that right? Yeah, five games for today. And to kick things off, we will be talking about this game between Boston Celtics and San Antonio Spurs. That will actually happen at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given here um, is minus 12.5. That's a huge spread. That's given towards the visiting team, the Boston Celtics. All right, so before we proceed, let's go ahead and check on the standings and the rankings of both teams. Starting with Boston Celtics, they are the number one team in the Eastern Conference, and they are the number one team in the entire NBA with a record of 27 wins and 12 losses. While their opponent, the San Antonio Spurs, um, they are the number 14 team in the Western Conference, having a record of 13 wins and 26 losses. The San Antonio Spurs, they would have the home court advantage on this, but in terms of fatigue, uh, we got to give it to Boston Celtics because, man, um, the Spurs, uh, they will be playing their second game in two nights. They actually played last night against Detroit Pistons that they eventually won, by the way. Um, so, uh, again, uh, Boston Celtics would have the advantage in terms of fatigue because they are fresh um, approaching this game. Now, in terms of uh, Chamakal, this in terms of momentum, well, both teams are actually coming off wins, uh, but we have to give a slight advantage towards Boston Celtics because they uh, they have a better form. Um, both again, both teams uh, are coming off wins. Um, San Antonio defeating Detroit last night. Um, Boston Celtics beating Dallas Mavericks in uh, massacre fashion. You know, pardon, pardon my language, but uh, man, that was like I don't know, twenty plus points, right? Um, and then, again, I'm giving the advantage towards Boston Celtics because of uh, the form, because they have won five out of their last ten, compared to uh, San Antonio, where they just won four out of their last ten. Let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Boston Celtics, still, uh, Danilo Gallinari is out for them. And for San Antonio Spurs, Vassal is confirmed out. Keldon Johnson... Um, uh, is still questionable, but I mean, I don't know if he would be able to play with that kind of hamstring. Um, highly likely he would sit, sit this one out. So I'm actually giving the, um, uh, the advantage towards Boston Celtics in terms of health. All right, so this one's, um, I mean, this one's no-brainer as to who's the better team, of course. <laughs> well, the Boston Celtics is the best team right now in the NBA, uh, if you take a look at the record. Um, and again, San Antonio Spurs, they are... Uh, second to the last in the Western Conference. Um, so Boston Celtics uh, will definitely win this game. Um, the only question left is whether they would be able to cover the spread or not. Um, I know there are a lot of things that have happened uh, previously that uh, may cause other people not to trust Boston Celtics, and that's uh, perfectly understandable. But if you take a look at how uh, Boston Celtics played uh, their last game, and that was, again, uh, against Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks, who by then had a, had a winning streak, right? And Dallas Mavericks, they were even at home. But then Boston Celtics defeated Dallas Mavericks in a, in a statement fashion, if you know what I mean. I forgot the, uh, the exact lead that Boston had, but it was a blowout. Now, um, for the Spurs, yes, they have the home court advantage, but but they must be tired on this. And without Johnson, without uh, Vassell, I'm actually looking at Boston Celtics to really have a great opportunity for them, not just to win, but to also cover the spread of 12.5. If they were able to do that against Dallas Mavericks, Dallas Mavericks, who, by the way, is uh, obviously a, a better team than San Antonio, um, I think Boston Celtics can actually uh, do it right here as well not necessarily win by 20 plus points but um to cover the spread of 12.5 that's something that i would stick with boston celtics with my pick would be boston minus 12.5 that's celtics minus 12.5 peace out pass i love and god bless